as you're going through the rest of the season, they get to that point where it's the last time you'll be playing in certain cities. Looking at Seattle, looking at Phoenix, and going against Sioux and D. The thing I'm going to miss the most is just being able to come out here, compete with them, have fun, and they know I'm going to bring all out, 100%, everything that I have. When Catch walks into this arena, the ante goes up. And as, as a basketball player, there's nothing better than that. She's the only player in league history to lead her team in a single season in scoring, rebounds, assists, and steals. She's done it eight times. I think that's one of the things that we have in common, that when we're you know, on this court, all the noise outside has nothing to do with how hard we compete. And that's going to be the one thing that when Catch leaves, there's going to be that little void of who's going to bring that fire every night. I've known Tamika for a really long time now. Yeah, we played against each other, Indiana, Seattle, all these years. But really, she's been my, uh, my counterpart on the USA basketball team. Both of our first years, we were the two youngest players, so immediately we just kind of had this connection. And with that, you just develop a certain level of comfort, a certain chemistry, and I think more than anything, a, a respect level. When I think of Tamika, it's just 110%. She's giving 110% every possession, every game. But look at Catchings, always hustling. She has done that throughout her WNBA career. You look at her career, and I know people are going to talk about you know, her winning and the way she played. But more than anything, she really has had an impact with her game, but also off the court as well. You know, And again, I think she's just set the bar for all of us.